Well, as the state prepares for phase four of reopening, so is the Rochester Museum and Science Center. Josh Navarro spoke with the president and CEO about what precautions they are taking. We're here at the Rochester Museum and Science Center where they're gearing up to reopen for the public after being closed for more than three months. With me right now is the president and CEO of the museum, Hillary Olson. How are you? I'm great. We're so excited to be reopening. I can't wait to see visitors back. Uh, well, tell us a little bit about some of the changes that you guys have been prepping up uh, to open to the general public. Sure. We've reduced our capacity significantly so there won't be a lot of people. We're offering online ticket sales for the museum and the planetarium. And, of course, we're, we're enacting social distancing regulations, mask wearing for people over two and people who are medically able, and, and spacing things apart. So just allowing people to have an amazing experience, but do it safely. Uh, we've seen a lot of construction happening today as you guys are gearing up. What are some of the changes that once people do walk into the museum, what can they expect to see? They can expect to see a, a longer spacing if you're waiting in line, if you haven't purchased online tickets. Mm. There's plexi shields. Every, all of the staff and volunteers will be wearing masks. And just making sure that we're checking everyone and, and just making sure that everyone's staying safe. Uh, tell us a little bit about some of the changes that you guys are doing as far as capacity over at the planetarium. Yeah, the ca capacity at the planetarium is being cut pretty significantly. So we will only be allowing 26 people at a time in the planetarium. That's less than 25%, but we're really starting slow and making sure that we can do everything safely before we, we raise that up to 25%, which is the state regulation. An exciting time to reopen to the public again. I know it's been a long time waiting, huh? Yeah, it's been a long time and we've made a lot of modifications. So some of the things that you may have experienced before the, the heavy touch items we're not going to be able to do um, but there's so much to see and do and we are thrilled to have our guests and visitors back all right Hillary thank you so much for joining us today and they have more information on the safety procedures and protocols we're going to provide that on our website at rochesterfirst.com in Rochester I'm Josh Navarro News A